When trying to learn something, do you ever end up feeling cluttered or confused? Do you spend a lot of time learning but not get the results that you want? Your learning process is far more important than the amount of time that you spend learning. Here's the five-step note-taking technique that I use that gets me A's in my MIT classes. Let's try to learn this paragraph from a biology textbook together. Currently, it just feels like a mess of words and pretty overwhelming. Step one is to write down the names of things that you think might be important. As I read this paragraph, a few of these names pop out to me. Plasma membrane, cytoplasm, DNA, and ribosomes. Identifying these concepts is the first step of taking this jumbled mess of words and turning it into something understandable and giving it a clear structure in my mind. In the next three steps, I'll show you how you can use these names to build a deep understanding of the ideas. After identifying a concept and writing down the names, step number two is to write a concise one or two sentence definition. When you're first learning an idea, just write down whatever sentence you think is a reasonable description. You'll refine your definition over time. It doesn't need to be perfect to start. The trick here is identifying the core part of the idea. Ask yourself what you think the most important part of the idea is in your mind and use that as your definition. The core idea of the plasma membrane to me feels like that it covers the cell. It's sort of the shell around it. And then the cytoplasm is the liquid in the cell, like a yolk in an egg. Names do not give you an understanding of an idea, but they give you a critical foundation to build your understanding on top of. By taking these notes, I always feel incredibly productive. I'm both first structuring the notes into something understandable in my brain. Second, I'm creating a long-term note source that I can search and refer to when I want to reference this material down the line. And three, I'm immediately creating flashcards that I can use to practice and really deepen my mastery of these ideas afterwards. At the end of this video, I'll show you what this looks like for real notes that I've taken in my lectures. So a concept definition can only contain the core part of an idea. Unfortunately, I often won't begin to really understand something until I do step number three, adding extra questions or details about the concepts that I'm learning. Here, I can add ideas both from the paragraph itself, or I can just follow my curiosity and write down other things that I want to know about these concepts. For example, I might want to know what this plasma membrane is actually made of, or how ribosomes produce these proteins, or even before that, just what these proteins even produce. I know that in a few weeks, I'll be sitting at some exam asking myself, what does a ribosome do? Write down that question now so that you can begin practicing that recall. Step four is where we start bringing things together and adding organization to our notes in the form of hierarchy. This is the core trick that enables you to learn any complex idea. First, let's take these questions and move them underneath the concept that they're describing. I like to call these questions descriptors because, well, they're describing the concept that they're referring to. In RemNote, I can then indent these underneath my concept to start organizing my document into different sections. All I need to do is press tab to indent this bullet. We want our notes to be as short and snappy as possible so that we can refer to them and read them really quickly later. We have some redundant stuff here. So first let's remove cytoplasm. We can just say, what's the consistency? And then actually we can also remove what here? We can just say consistency. This is a really convenient shorthand for asking yourself to describe a concept in more detail. What is its purpose? What is it made of? And each of these I can write down in just a moment, even while I'm in a lecture or thinking about an idea. This doesn't only work for questions about the concepts, but also works for breaking down concepts into smaller and smaller parts. But we can actually just take them and group them underneath a bigger concept of the cell. If I start learning what the nucleotides are and then learn specific nucleotides, then I can just stick them all hierarchically here, continuing to break the idea down into more and more granular components, each one at a level that I can fit in my brain. So now we've broken down this paragraph, and this is where we get to step number five, the fun part, actually using the knowledge that we've learned on some upcoming exam to do better or on some upcoming problem that I want to solve. First, I can just run a search through my notes and immediately find these ideas to extract them. Maybe I'm writing an essay and I want to 
refer to some idea, or maybe I'm just thinking and refreshing myself and I want to quickly bring this note back to mind. Next, I immediately have all these flashcards generated. So if I took these notes in lecture, I can go and quickly begin practicing them and internalizing my understanding of this idea. And then third, when I continue to learn more about this idea, I'll have already begun mastering these core components and these core names. When I start doing practice problems or practicing these flashcards, I'll notice errors in my thinking. And because I've taken the time to write down these notes explicitly, I can then go and fix these errors and really quickly improve my understanding. Here you can see what this looks like in my real RimNote account from when I took this biology class. I grew more knowledge around this core idea of a cell, both learning more of the different components of the cell and then breaking down those concepts into other smaller concepts. So here are some computer science notes. You can see that I use the exact same approach I was learning about this specific algorithm. I asked myself questions about what its purpose was, its procedure, how long the algorithm takes to run, and I just continue to break it down into smaller ideas. So that's all you need. It's a simple framework, but I've used it to learn tens of thousands of cards in all of my classes. I followed up on learning those cards by practicing them with space repetition, the most effective way to learn. If you want to learn more about that, go check out the video here or go try it out yourself in Remnant.